Hello, and welcome to a short video for creating remote desktop connection shortcuts. There are two methods. The first is to use the remote desktop connection GUI, set your settings, and save a .rdp file. This option is quite a bit easier and can also be used on other computers. The second is actually creating a Windows shortcut. If you are on a Mac, you will need to download the remote desktop connection from Microsoft. On a Windows computer, you simply click the start button, type in remote space, and you should see remote desktop connection come up, hit enter. At this point, this is the GUI, the first method. You can type in the IP address or the domain name of the server. Click on options. And to create your RDB file is very simple. Click save as. But what's really powerful here is all the different options you can set. The first ones we should look at are display size. Do you want the window to be a certain size each time? And then under local resources, do you want to hear what the server sounds is, are making? Even more important, do you want to be able to copy and paste from your computer up to the server? Would you like to be able to print documents from the server to your local printers? Would you also maybe like to be able to share files, drag and drop them through Windows Explorer? If so, you open the Options button, you select which drives or DVD drives, smart cards or ports you'd like to share. At that point, you can see those in Windows Explorer. So after you set your settings, another thing to look at, maybe you always open QuickBooks every time you log into the server or some other application. You can automatically have that application open when you do log in. You click Start, and you type in the path and the file name that you want it to open, and it will always open that for you. This would be handy if you were deploying your custom software or an application for your users to use. You could set the settings here for them, give them their username in here, the IP address, and literally save as. Click the save as, give it a name and a location. And once you do that, you will have a file just like this with a .rdp extension. You can once again send this to them via email, move this to another computer and use that. If you need to make changes to it, or they need to make changes, right click it, say edit. You're back in the same window again. Make your changes and save it. The second method is simply creating a Windows shortcut. We're going to need to know this command, and there are other commands you can also use for the command line for the MSTSC. I'm going to copy and paste this, but literally it's MSTSC. Space forward slash V colon. So what do you do? You come to your desktop on a Windows computer. You right click it. You say new. You say shortcut is what you select right here. And once you do so, you need to type in that nice little command being the MSTSC space forward slash the lowercase v colon and either the IP address or the URL for your server. Click next. You give it a name. You can leave a default or you can say, hey, this is for my Riptide hosting server. Click finish. At this point, you have a nice little icon. Double click it. You click on details. You only have a few options here. And you can click connect to log in. Same thing for that one. So just to review, there are two methods. One's creating an actual RDP file. You can use this on several different computers or as many computers as you'd like, send them to customers. The second is creating a Windows shortcut just specifically for your computer using this command. To let you know, Riptide Hosting offers remote desktop server hosting monthly. For a virtual server, the prices start at $100 a month plus $775 per remote desktop users. If you'd like a dedicated server, that's a quad core server starting at $229 a month plus $775 per user. We have online pricing at RiptideHosting.com. You can select how many users, how much RAM, size hard drive. If you'd like Office included for each user, you can select that as well. Pretty much anything Microsoft offers, we can get you monthly pricing on to have a remote desktop server hosted in the cloud. Thanks. Hopefully you found this helpful.